By now, you're already interested in studying causes and effects in the real world. And you know that causal inference is your toolbox in order to study these causes and effects. So to ground our knowledge just a little bit more, I want us to talk about the fundamental question and the fundamental problem of causal inference. The fundamental question of, of causal inference is pretty simple. It basically asks, what is a given treatment's causal effect, I'm using an arrow here, on a particular individual measured by a particular outcome? We don't necessarily know the answer to this question beforehand, or else we wouldn't be asking it. So in order to understand this a little bit more, let's use an example. So the treatment in this case that we're interested in is you going to a doctor. The person we are interested in studying would be you, in this case, and the outcome we're interested in studying is whether you get cured or not from the doctor. We don't necessarily know this beforehand. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, this seems pretty simple. All I need to do is go to the doctor and see if I get cured or not. And that's necessarily the causal effect. Not exactly. The problem here is what if you have an incurable disease? So in this case, the doctor wouldn't have cured you regardless. So the doctor might not be bad. What if the disease would have been cured regardless? So it's just a mild cold. So if you'd gone to the doctor, you would have been cured regardless. Even if you didn't go to the doctor, you would have been cured. So it's very hard to understand whether the doctor was good or bad based on a single outcome in this case. Why is it so hard? It's because of the fundamental problem. The fundamental problem is that you're never able to see the counterfactual. So counterfactual is just a big word that means you're never able to see what you didn't choose. Factual. Uh, so if you went to the doctor, you're never able to see what would have happened if you didn't go see the doctor. So if you went to the doctor and were cured, maybe if you didn't go see the doctor, you would have also been cured. So the doctor, in effect, had no causal effect on you. Or if you went to the doctor and you didn't get cured, maybe there was no way you'd get cured regardless. This is the fundamental problem of causal inference. So causal inference always concerns itself with asking this fundamental question, what is a treatment's causal effect on a particular individual as measured by an outcome? And it tries to solve this fundamental problem in lots of different ways. The problem that you're never able to see the counterfactual. Okay, to understand this a little bit more, let's look at an example next.